Welcome everyone, we're back at it again. Another anti malware test review. This time, um, Anlab V3 Lite going up against Adware Free. So, this is my first time testing Anlab. So, hopefully, I do have all the settings set up correctly, but we'll quickly go through it. Okay, so for Anlab, um, it has this function to restart. Um, the settings um, not a big fan of it if I do understand it correctly so for all of this I said uh, not to restart because this is a long test I don't want any of the protections to restart or something like that I'm not actually sure why this is in here <laughs> maybe you guys that use Anlab can maybe explain this to me but this is extremely um, random um, so of all this I set it to um, not to restart so for diagnostic scan um, we have that um, let's maybe add that as well okay tents and things like that advanced protection um, pretty much everything is enabled also do not restart um, cloud services I set it to very sensitive um, just to see how well it can protect so this is maximum settings again um, scan exclusions malware exclusions okay. app isolation this has been enabled ransomware folder also to only restart when we restart the machine um, okay so at least it's got web um, built-in protection as well so that's been enabled um, active defenses has been enabled with cloud analysis uh, preferences set the update for one hour it's default on three so we change it to one and I'll say that's about it so PC security management services anti-ransomware um, so app isolation settings as you can see that's what it was and I would say that's about it um, not really that much um, so for Adaware um, it does not pack all the features that um, Anlab gives you it's just a um, pure basic basic protection we only have real-time shields um, obviously we have selected everything but we skipped this it, we wanted to scan large files um, so that's the only thing you can change under there um, it's got no web web protection uh, no email no nothing um, okay well let's enable that I'm not sure why that was in it disabled okay so thread book alliance is enabled and that's about it um, for this test because it doesn't have web protection we're going to use their browser to see if their browser actually does protect us so um, edge won't be used as the default browser in this test um, i think while we're here let's quickly just disable the protection okay it's permanently disabled let's quickly do the same Okay, so real-time shields are disabled for both. I'm going to extract the malware and we'll continue the test. Okay, and we're back at it, guys. So there is a, a three malware difference between the two, but I've re-extracted them and it still stays the same, but I'm not going to worry about that too much. So let's just quickly check that everything is up to date. Okay, just waiting for the updates to finish. Okay, and we are up to date. I think it's time to enable the protection. Let's go for it. enable it here as well okay so thread alliance is now enabled good to go and our real-time shield is on 
Let's see if one does the fender. Okay, so and lap, uh, just waiting for it to enable. Okay, I think we are good to go. As you guys can see, real time shield is enabled for Adaware. Um, okay. I think we're good to go all the products are up to date as well so let's start with the website one first let's see if Adaware's um, own browser will protect us good so let's see what happens okay so we're just waiting for the websites to quickly open Okay, so it seems good. We are seeing um, pop-up notifications. Okay, so I think AdAware is done. Um, okay, so that one blocked, 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 blocked. Okay, it seems like the majority is blocked. Let's say keep that file. Let's see what happens. Uh, let's actually see if anything downloaded. Uh, okay, two temp files did download. Um, okay, so let's quickly look at uh, Anlab. Okay, so Microsoft Smart Screen Filter did help a bit here. Uh, quite a bit, actually. Let's see if anything downloaded. Um, okay, doesn't seem like anything downloaded. Let's quickly look at the details. Okay, so it seems like um, AnLab did protect us from downloads. There are two temp files that downloaded for the Adaware. Um, so it looks to me like Anlab um, did a tad better. Uh, let's just close that. No, we don't want to download. Okay, cool. Nice, quick, and easy. Um, I think now we can jump into the malware execution. Uh, oh, let me just quickly fix this. Okay, let's quickly do this. Okay, sorry for that small little glitch. It was actually the wrong shortcut that I used. Um, yeah, so they both updating, uh, sorry, um, popping up notifications. Um, well, <laughs> I don't think this is a very legitimate file, so I am going to cancel that. Okay, so they're executing. I'll let you guys know once the test is done. Okay guys, um, I think um, all the mail has now been executed except for um, ANAP, but um, I think the test is over for ANAP unfortunately. It's still executing malware, um, but you guys will see just now in a second. Let me just pause it quickly. Uh, let's quickly extract this one just for fun. Okay, let's just maybe quickly do this. Okay, so we do have ransomware infection, unfortunately, on this machine. As you guys can see, 
Okay, so files have been encrypted. Um, the desktop seems to be fairly untouched so far, but I did investigate further and there's definitely ransomware infection. So I think um, I'm gonna stop the test for um, NLAB. Um, it's no point running it further. As soon as the machine is infected with ransomware, um, in my opinion, um, the fight is over. So uh, let's just quickly Okay, so for um, Adware, let's quickly have a look, see, um, luckily no ransomware notes on the desktop. Um, let's just quickly close all of these files. Okay, so let's see, quickly see what's running um, on this uh, machine. There's quite a, a couple of things, not, yeah, okay, never mind. <laughs> There's quite a bit of them running at the bottom. Okay, so we have quite a lot of things running actively in memory. Um, let's just close that Excel shield. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close this I'm gonna um, reboot this machine hopefully it starts up um, but yeah definitely not looking good let's quickly look at startup items for interest sake okay so um, not actually that many startup items considering uh, but we do have quite a couple um, you'll notice we have this little mouse um, it's running here it is a J rat according to this um, so obviously it's a remote access to, um, Trojan, so there's two of them. So hopefully this machine does boot up again, so let's hold thumbs. Uh, we'll close that. So for Adaware, um, we do have one, two, three, four, five. Seems like we've got five files that are definitely rated. Um, and then we obviously have this loopy loop. That's fine, it will die out when we close the browser uh, when we restart the machine okay let's close that and that toolbar at the top is a bit of a problem okay so we're almost done with all the stuff Okay, let's look at our startup items. Um, also not that many, about three of them. Uh, oh, sorry, five. Okay, so let's quickly restart these two machines. Um, hopefully, I think the other will definitely start up, but let's hope NLAP does so that we can um, run some scans and then I'll let you guys know. Okay guys, so let's quickly have a look see at the final results. Okay, so for Heatman Pro, um, we obviously have one under temp, temp and app data roam, but it says that the file is missing. Um, extracted, um, so these are all the malware samples on the desktop. Okay, then we have this one obviously under temp as well. And then malware on the desktop. Okay, so it doesn't seem like that's that many malware left. For Adaway, we obviously have roaming. Um, and then roaming again. And then um, under downloads. So those are those two temp files that downloaded um, in the beginning. Okay, and that's that. Um, let's maybe look at Komodo while we add it. So Komodo has found a rootkit and then a couple of malwares here and there. 
programming as well. Okay, same on that side. Okay, so Norton says it's clean, uh, which we know it isn't. <laughs> and then under app data roaming, we have that one there. Okay, so we do have under app data um, local temp folders again. And it's malware on the desktop. And then we've got one registry key that is a auto start. Then for adware, we only have one, it's only the malware on the desktop, so that's good. Okay, so now for malware bytes, update the local temp at exe. Um, also temp as well. Okay, then malware on the desktop. Okay, then we've got a task here as well, system 32. Uh, temp notepad and then a couple of registry keys for Adaware um, app data local Microsoft so there's a folder that is created uh, app data roaming app data roaming uh, yeah roaming as well so quite a bit of files under app data roaming and then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven registry keys as well. Okay. Let's have a look here at our data. Okay, let's make you see what's running. Okay, while we wait for Process Explorer, let's look at the startup items. So we have one, two startup items. Um, and then for Adaware, uh, we do have uh, one, two, three, four, five startups. Uh, okay, let's quickly check this one. Okay, so can't see anything malicious running on this one. Um, this one can't verify the files, but it's fine. We'll see if we can manually spot them. Okay, let's have a look at our files. Okay, so downloads, there's those two um, temporary files. So these are the files that have been encrypted. Documents, documents here have been encrypted. Let's quickly see what the readme has to say. The whole environment has been hacked, blah, blah, blah. Okay, pictures, pictures. Okay, so it seems like some of our pictures did survive, so half-half maybe. And yeah, okay, cool. Okay, guys, I think that's the end of this test. Um, obviously, um, AnLab didn't um, pass this test, unfortunately. We do have ransomware infections, startup items, malware on the, fold, um, on, on the machine as well. And some of the malware, it can't uh, remove them. Um, so I can't really give any positive reviews for AnLab at this point. Um, for Adaware, obviously it did better. Um, I think between the two, it's it's a clear, obvious which one is better at this point. With um, AnLab, it's got built-in um, web uh, protection where Adaware doesn't, but at least it comes with their browser. So with the antivirus plus their browser, um, it definitely gives better protection than AnLab on its own. So, um, AnLab, um, 
luckily there's 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 no ransomware infection um, there aren't any real threats on the machine still left it did much better than than in our last test the last test it also didn't go really well for adware but it seems like it did um, a lot better um, cons i would say there is obviously a couple of registry keys and malware still on the system but it's not that hectic um, but adware is the clear winner so let me know what, what other tests you guys want um, so that we can start making them. Um, if you like this video, please hit, give it a like and I'll catch you guys in the next one.